Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. I hope all of your tadpoles are wriggling nicely in your brains. If you're not, Ceramorphosis will be on us shortly, and we will all rejoice in our new and glorious forms. All hail our Mind Flayer overlords. Hi, guys. It's the Ash Heritor. Uh, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. I already said that, but uh, yeah, my apologies for the delay in the episodes. I uh, had a long and brutal work week, eight days in a row. Uh, and then uh, needed a couple of rest days, which I actually took to rest rather than record. So that is the uh, my excuse for the delay in the episodes. Uh, here we are, back in Grimforge. I did a couple of things off camera. So one of the things uh, was in response to your comment, uh, Martin. I went back to the Wizard's Tower, to the mundane chest, and attempted to interact with the mundane chest, but nothing happened. I also used the toy chest here in the inventory. That still didn't do anything. So I think there's either the interaction just didn't work, or I um, could be missing something. It's possible. Um, or I, I did loot everything that was in the mundane chest, all of the magic items that were not mundane. Um... So I, I did do that a couple episodes back, so maybe you, you missed that part, or uh, or you're telling me something that I didn't do, uh, which is very possible, and then perhaps it's just not working as planned. I don't know, or I missed it again. But uh, I tried, and uh, it did not work. Also, I opened this door behind the poison corridor where uh, Nier was going, and uh, there is a big old broken bridge here, and I made several attempts to get down there. Uh, and get down there using Featherfall. I switched out Asterion for Lazel so that we could get Featherfall. Uh, which, God, I hate that you need to go back to camp to switch out characters. I mean, I understand that you need to go back to camp to switch out characters. I hate that you have to talk to them all individually. Please, this game could use some quality of life updates. Uh, anyways, um, no way to get down there. There, like you can see here, we can jump down there, but it uh, it results in death. So. And even with Featherfall, it results in death. Flight does not allow us to target that or anywhere else, including up there. So it doesn't look like this leads to anything. It's just a nice little vantage point. You can walk through the poison. It doesn't actually damage us. So, though I did take a uh, poison resistance elixir with Ash when I had her uh, scout this place out. So that's, uh, that will be all. And uh, today we are going to leave the, uh, the Underdark. We're gonna leave. Uh, we're gonna leave this whole damn place. So we're gonna head back to Grimforge here and try and make our way out through Moonrise Towers. So we're going to. Uh... Yeah, I think we're just gonna make our way up immediately from here. Travel through the Underdark. Get up there. That seems like the best bet. There's none of these other things we can do without pr proceeding to Act Two. So we're just gonna proceed onward to Act Two. And move. Onward and away. Uh, so I, I have it on good faith that we can come back and uh, do things later in case we miss things. Oops. I, uh... Oh, my God. This game. It'd be nice if, like, when you actually teleported your party members, that they would come regardless of the fact that, you know... Right. Problem solved. Sometimes, uh... I'll go this way. So, this door is going to lead us to Act 2. More like this elevator. We've already opened the door. So, once we go up Let's here, move. I will go up with Ash herself. Here we go. And, uh, theoretically... Where's Karlak? Yeah, everybody's here. Alright, we're gonna head up. If you're about to progress your adventure, make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing. Yep, done that. Let's go. Let's see where this is gonna lead. Guys, if you're enjoying this Let's Play, please drop this video a like. I know it's, uh, you know, it's a bit of a slower Let's Play. It's going to take us a while to get done with this, but uh, I appreciate everybody that has been uh, watching thus far. You're all, uh, you know, true supporters of the channel. And uh, thanks to everybody that's been commenting and making their way uh, through this slow Let's Play. Sure, there's plenty of faster ones, you know, plenty that are uh, already, you know, done with their third or fourth uh, playthroughs. But uh, yeah, I, I wish I could do that. I wish I could uh, actually, you know, make a living with uh, YouTube. But we're definitely not there yet. <laughs> so, alas, uh, there are other things that I need to uh, do in the real world. Okay, where are we here? This looks like. I mean, it makes sense that it still looks like Grimforge, or it 
the uh, the temple. There's a plaque here. Let's uh, let's have a look. What have we here? We what does the plaque say? We offer pain to the Lady of Loss, that she may truly know her faithful. That sounds lovely. Very no adorable. Just that. Okay, absolutist expedition trunk. Well, we'll definitely lockpick that. That's got to have some good stuff in it. Difficulty ten. Get bonus from Shadowheart. 27, I call that a roaring success. What have we in here? Just some some stuff. Okay, Potion of Greater Healing, we'll give that to uh, Karlak. Potion of Speed, I'm going to give to Karlak. And an Elixir of Hill Giant Strength, I will also give to Karlak. Cool, Torch, screw that. We've got plenty of those. Another plaque. We offer ourselves to the darkness, that Blessed Shah may give us her mercy. Yep. And this one? We offer our prayers to the Dark Lady, whose comfort and grace heals all. See, she's not so bad. What have we here? Weathered chisel set. I've never seen one of these, so I'm going to take it. I'm also going to take the lump hammer, because I don't know what it is, and that's just a regular old candle, so we'll leave that. I don't know. Maybe these will be useful items to somebody. What have we here? We've got some more chasm creeper. No way to get down here. Just a long, dark hit. And uh, you look like somebody. You're a weary traveler. Interesting. What are, what's a weary traveler doing out here? Uh, you got a wizard's hat. 96 health. That's quite a lot. Especially considering you're a wizard. You better not be like Elminster or something. Do you even have a, uh, a pipe? Of course you do. So stereotypical. All right, who the hell are you? Who there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. May I inquire if perchance you retain among your traveling companions a man who adheres to the given name of Gale? May I inquire who is inquiring? <laughs> Should it be the nature of our acquaintance that interests you, well, you may safely classify Gale and I as friends. Should it be the nature of your present interlocutor that you desire to drag from the dark and unknown, I shall be glad to aid in Holy your quest shit. for illumination and identify myself as Elminster. Elminster Omar. Well, there's a reason he's a stereotypical if wizard. If satisfies you, let us linger no longer in this limbo of indecision, but settle on your knowledge of the individual I seek. Um, so Elminster's like, the dude. I don't know if this is the Elminster, if there's like multiple Elminsters or something, but Elminster's the Archmage of Waterdeep. Makes sense that Gale would know him. Um, he is incredibly powerful. Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even going to bother lying to him. I do know Gale, yes. He's in our camp at the moment. Uh, ever a man of leisure. Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage I intend to undertake to this aforementioned camp? Ah. Uh, yeah, sure. And I would confirm it to be so. Please. After you. Is this just gonna immediately? Yeah, alright, cool. This ought to be interesting. It's nice that you can uh, just invite them to camp. You don't have to go to camp, get Gale back. Oh, hello. This is... This is a new camp. I'm sure that's going to load in. And Wow, all right. It, My thanks oh. for your excellent guidance. Ah, and yonder I spy the object of my pursuit. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I don't understand. How so on my behalf? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. Ah. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. 
Young man, has your sojourn away from Bortity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it. <laughs> All right, all right. Yes, Gail, where is your decorum? Oh, for the love of... <laughs> fine, fine. I'll turn a deaf ear to the clarion cause with which my scorned stomach beseeches me. Graver matters are at hand. I didn't know Elminster was Plenty such a drama queen. to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savored so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Uh, right. Um, you see, I, um, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can. Forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. Thank you. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. You were sent here as an actual divine messenger? Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the Absolute, that most insidious of evils. Okay. If the goddess herself was aware, I wouldn't say no to some divine intervention. The very purpose of my presence, in a roundabout sort of way. From a certain point of view. You must know that the Absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to hmm. charge you, Gail, with its destruction. It is Mistress belief that only you can. <laughs> Mistress mistaken. I will be the Absolute's destroyer. I doubt not your conviction, but Gale has an unnatural advantage. Is that the so? Orb. The orb. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, uh. you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This Whoa. could be help or hindrance. She's speaking to us in the waking world. We shall have to see. Concerning. You must find the heart of the absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. Um. What's monstrous? You're tasking him to kill himself. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend, but such is Mistra's will. 
Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistress' promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. I need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. My nahastra mistra idalion thras anas Ooh, the it tattoos flowed. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Still a long journey ahead. We'll find another way. Or some other fortune altogether. <laughs> like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, an ocean born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come <laughs> all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. All right. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, let's go talk to Gale. So, the orb. Why is it always an orb? Why can't it be like a tetrahedron or a trapezohedron? Probably not a trapezohedron, especially not if it's shining. Um, but uh, maybe, maybe some other three-dimensional shape? I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was interesting. I wasn't aware that like Elminster was a follower of Mistra, but like, yeah, it makes sense. He's a wizard. Seems like most wizards are followers of Mistra in one way or another. I reckon they can be followers of just about anything else, but uh, with Mistra being the goddess of the Weave, it would make sense that plenty of them serve her. Obviously, we know Gale's history with her, but the orb, I wasn't aware. And it does seem like his whole accident might not have just been an accident, but rather or the severity of the consequences of his accident might not just be because of the accident but rather because mistra did something to him in response now i can't remember if he already told us that or if i'm just misremembering things and thinking that it was very much just a byproduct of what he did rather than any sort of intention by mistra herself feel free to remind me in the comments don't spoil anything that i don't already know though. okay let's talk to gail an audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. Yeah. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. I always imagine Elminster to be more imposing. The doddering act is merely an illusion, one he's most adept at maintaining. That yeah, makes sense. Elminster is the most formidable wizard in the realms. Perhaps in existence. Yeah. For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling <laughs> to realize how little of it one might have left. Yeah. Uh, you're seriously considering doing what Elminster said? Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. Uh. 
I don't understand. Can't Mistra just destroy the Absolute or Elminster himself? I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling mm. in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. Okay. I wish there was a bit more introduction to what the hell the orb is, but I guess it's the thing that's, you know, trapped within him. Um... That's interesting. So Ao, in case you guys aren't aware, we've we've heard the name Ao a few times. Ao is the over god, sort of the the creator of all divinity, the creator of all of the realms, sort of the impartial, not judge because he doesn't judge, but he keeps the balance in a way. Or sort of he prevents anyone from upsetting the balance too much. So Mistra divinely intervening. Would apparently upset the balance too much. That might prevent Ao from intervening against her. Which kind of implies that the Absolute is something that naturally came to be. That doesn't require Ao's intervention. Even though it seems like the Absolute would threaten existence. Which Ao would be safeguarding when he stopped Mistra from destroying the Absolute. So I don't, I don't really know what to make here. Uh, Ao and... The nature of the gods in this setting have always kind of been a uh, an iffy point to me, world building wise. Uh, at least as far as I remember it. I don't know. Maybe it's gotten some major updates lore wise uh, since 3.5. But uh... yeah, it, uh, it it didn't always feel like super well put together with all of the like whys and hows clearly explained or left in a place where you think there could be a clear explanation. Um, a lot of it just is because it is. Which leads to some contradictory stuff. I mean, I, I know that can be quite realistic uh, in terms of, you know, how we humans view the concept of uh, divinities or religions in general. Uh... But in a fantasy setting where, you know, these entities are very much real, I, I, I don't know. I, I like a little bit more clarity. But perhaps we'll get more clarity. Perhaps uh, perhaps I'm speaking too soon. Let's let's hope that's the case. Anyways, uh, so that's it. You're on a suicide mission now. Possibly the most spectacular one ever conceived. But essentially, yes. I'm living on borrowed time in more ways than one. Perhaps... Perhaps this is how it must be. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. Okay. Um, interesting. Like, Gale's response is interesting. I, it's very indicative of his situation and character. Like, you know, he gets this suicide mission charge, but at the same time, he's not that distraught about it. It's more now putting a time on the inevitable, I mean, obviously, it's the inevitable is inevitable regardless, but his inevitable is a little bit different than everyone else's inevitable, and now it's just a little bit faster. You know? It's kind of, you know, you know your number. Your number's been called. Or you know when your number is called, That that's it. That, that sort of thing. Um, but he, he already knows it's coming, so... I, I understand his whole, like, yeah, well, okay. This is this is how I go. This is how I go. Redemption? Maybe it's not even that bad of a thing for him. Perhaps better than to uh, wait until the point where that consumes him not on his own terms. Now he gets to do it on his terms. Of course, if we can find a better way. We'll find a better way. But uh, Ash understands. I'll make sure we find it. I promise. <laughs> Then I suppose there is nothing more to be done but find the heart of the Absolute and stop its beating. We're in business. Let's, uh, let's leave camp. We don't need to uh, end the day right now. We're doing pretty okay. So we'll head back down into this uh, ruin here. Interesting area. I like the uh, aesthetic, the red trees and all that. 
I imagine that's what we're going to get once we uh, reach the surface. But of course, we need to reach the surface. Old architectural collection. Is this going to be anything important? Again, I'm not reading every book. Yellow book contains a series of architectural plans. One shows an elevator leading from the wilds outside a town called Raithwin to the Underdark. Okay. Well, that's what we just found there. An absolutist expedition key. Yeah, I'll take that. So the absolutists came down from above by the looks of it. Or maybe not. I mean, they must have. Right? And we still haven't found the Night Song. But I reckon we're not going to find that in the that particular part of the Underdark. Alright, what have we here? Another broken Moon Lantern. I'll take that. Torch we don't need. An Adept of the Absolute. He looks to be dead. What happened to you? Scroll of Hold Monster. Your drow, huh? Orders. We're going to definitely read that real quick. I have been given the crucial task to clear out the entrance to Grimforge for further expeditions. Trusil Nier will follow once the entrance is cleared. Alright, so they did come from above. We already knew that. As I make my way to the entrance, I can't help but feel excitement. What might be here? That Catherick created so long ago, now sealed by the curse. Grimforge could hold untold treasures for the Absolute's uses. I will continue to explore and document my findings. The entrance is currently blocked by vines and rubble, quite cursed. Explosives ought to do the job, though I'm not as experienced in such matters as I'd wish to be. I set the explosives with care, though I admit I'm almost afraid to detonate them. There's no telling what power these cursed vines hold, what might lie beyond, or whether I've even set things up correctly. Absolute protect me. Well, I guess it didn't quite work out for you. Scroll of Hold Monster? Very rare. Uh, I'll hold on to that for now. And we have a scroll of Bestow Curse. Yeah, I'll take that one too. You can always curse people. But it does look like they got in, uh, and that the vines didn't kill them. Nothing else here? It doesn't look like it. To the Shadow Cursed Lands! Let's see what happens. We might just die, because we don't really have a functioning Moon Lantern now, do we? Because we need pixie dust. I haven't found any goddamn pixies to mug, so. I won't have to worry about the sun. At least. Yeah. This is no ordinary darkness. It feels powerful and familiar. Cool. These lands have been blessed by Lady Shah. You must learn more about her presence here. All right. Interesting. I've never seen darkness like this before. It's unsettling. Darkness or not, we need to reach Moonrise Towers. Even she sounds kind of uh, creeped out. I'm going to give this frayed drow hood to Sterian. Well, hello. He's wearing drow armor, after all. We may as well give him a, a hood that works with it. What's this hat? Smooth start. At the start of combat, gain momentum for three turns. Oh, yeah. He's got... Oh, no, we don't need to do that. Hide helmet? Yeah, that looks pretty cool like that. I could give uh, well, this to... Uh, well, well. Yeah, we can give this to uh, Karlak here. Give her some momentum. That sounds pretty good. She needs the mobile. Come on, let's go. Helmet well, doesn't look bad on her, I will say. Does not look terrible. We also have another helmet. Um, I saw it in my inventory. It's this one here. Helmet of Autonomy. We can gain proficiency in will saves. Looks dumb on me, that's for sure. But I'll take it. I already have proficiency in will saves, so that's actually not useful on me. Perhaps I should give that to Asterion instead. The Drow Hood does look good, though. But... Giving him some will save might be good. Spider silk armor versus the drow leather armor. This does look better on him. Spider silk armor, I think, is better. Plus one stealth. Advantage on constitution saving throw checks. I mean, I could wear the spider silk armor. What am I wearing again? Added armor plus two. 13 AC. Is a bit better. Carlock, you're wearing medium armor, which is better. Uh, and all these weapons, you don't need them, right? No, not really. Okay, um, we're just going to move on. Give up now. I am not wearing a hat. I mean, I could wear a hat, but it doesn't look good on me, so I'm not going to do it. And we can't use these, can what we? Can oh, wait. Moon lantern catches your eye. 
its glow now snuffed out. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Because it's broken. What's gonna happen to us? We're gonna get shadow cursed? I bet we are. Well, you know, a little bit of shadow curse never killed nobody. Let's uh, let's move on. Make sure we're not missing any uh, other things here. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go this way and not click on shadow heart. But this place. Okay, actually, maybe this is good. There's a power in these shadows. I can sense it. It's ancient, familiar. I'm not going to talk about that right now. Okay. So, what if we walk across this? Anything bad going to happen? Only one way to find out. Shadow Curse. Something's wrong. Christ. I feel weak. Drained. Surround yourself in light to avoid its most lethal effects. Oh, no. I am shielded by Lady Shar. She's shielded by Lady Shar. Oh, it's just a zone. Okay. That's interesting. Well, um... We have a Hearthlight Bomb. But I don't think that's gonna cut it. I think we actually need, like, proper light. I wonder what the next Can you cast is. light? You can cast Sacred Flame. But that's only on an enemy. No, like, proper light abilities, huh? Certainly not a Sterian. Then, uh, we're gonna have to use a torch. Who has a torch? Attention. Well, there's some torches back there. I guess I'll grab them. Maybe we do need the torches now. I've got a long road ahead. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We have, uh, it's turn based. Exit turn based mode. Need to find a way forward. Taking these Brazier here. Oh, there's. We can take it, yeah. Can we take this one too? I don't know if. Uh, do we need to, like, light the Braziers as we go? Could make sense. Shall I hold a torch or shall I give a torch to somebody else? I think I'm gonna give it to Asterian. Asterian has a place with a backup weapon. He's got a torch equipped already, anyways. Can I just. Equip this like so, and then we can have him, uh, yeah, toggle light source. That's how that works. All right, that's cool. Um, Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting Will times. this work? No. Just exit turn base mode. What, what happens if we go through here? We're, we're okay, because we're in, we're in light. Interesting. Okay, some stuff here. We really need a moonlight lantern, but we, ooh, shadow root sack. We're gonna go this way first. Black oleander. This place is heavy. Yeah. Down there. Oh, that's down here. Okay, some more alchemy. Vitriol of oleander. Nice. I always like that. That looks creepy. Just a chasm into the darkness. Just goes on forever. Is there anything gonna happen here before you walk here? Tendrils reaching out. There's a boar. But that's gonna be a perfectly normal boar. Heavy chest. What might we find? Oh look, wood bark, mud method wings, more stuff here. Get some water, I'll take the water. We are in turn-based mode again. Why are we in turn-based mode? Because of the shadow curse. But we, okay, so every time we, the characters move too far apart from each other, it's gonna put us into turn-based mode. I reckon that's gonna get pretty annoying. There's like a light radius. It's only because of uh, one character. Do we all need to be carrying torches? I think that's what needs to happen. We all need to be carrying torches. Um, Let's get going. So, yeah, you can toggle your light source as well. Um, work to do. You do not have one. Right. In case we get separated, I want everyone to have a torch. Although I think Shadowheart's going to be okay Very good looking. without one. Very good looking. <laughs> all right, you already got one. Cool. Toggle the light source. I feel like her sword should count, but... Dead Druid's Journal. Let's quickly read this. I bet we'll... A handwritten journal abandoned for some 50 years. It details a Druid's attempt to learn about the Shadow Curse. The entries grow shorter and more sporadic as time passes. 
made good progress through the mountains. Seeing the curse for the first time filled me with an awe and fear that was difficult to describe. No writing could have prepared me, nor any artist's rendition. As grave as the Archdruid Halson's warnings were, they still lacked, or they, they were still lacking compared to the reality. I shall make camp soon and press on in the morning, though in truth, such terms have little meaning in this place. A dreadful night. The campfire needed thrice the wood that would normally be needed in order to keep it burning. The terrible sounds that came to my ears from beyond the firelight. Rest has not restored me. If anything, I feel weaker. But I must persevere. I must trust in Sylvanas. I must venture deeper. Creatures from the darkness. Foul things. One grazed me. Only my torch saved me. Deep darkness. Flames are instantly doused. The wound stings. Flesh is turning black with corruption. The shadows are growing stronger. They are spreading. I need to return to light. The wood will not burn. I can barely see the page. I am surrounded. Ooh. Something to do with the shadow curse? I truly hope this blight isn't spreading. So... Are we, uh, like... Gonna be dealing with... A torch mechanic? But, like, our torches are gonna start running out? In places? Uh, Hello. Uh, dirt mound. Screw shadow curse. We're gonna dig up some some boxes. What do we got here? Elixir of bloodlust. Drink to enter a bloodlust. That's going to Carlac. Um, diluted oil of sharpness. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll give that to Asterion. You're going. Actually, we're just gonna keep you because I don't think we can actually use those for anything. Um, so we just sell them. All right. Cool stuff. I like the aesthetic of this area. I will say. Very creepy. What have we here? Death. All right. Um, then we have to cross that bridge. All right. Go that way. What a lovely place. And there's another... No, there is not. I thought there would be another uh, thing. Another, like, dark fire would block us off here. Okay, nothing up here. I'm just checking. Okay, nothing... Uh, another shadow root sack and a boar. The boar is dead. This time it's not Asterion's fault. Question is, is he gonna stay dead? I have my doubts. Consumed by that blasted curse. Greedy. Greedy. Anything else here? Place is very cool. Love the music. Very ominous. You know, I'll, I'll complain about the uh, quality of life things in this game, but atmosphere-wise, character-wise, I'll complain about the settings sometimes too, but everything else here is very good. What do we got here? Harper? Harpers! Okay, we'll talk to them. But let's read this first. I'm a goddamned genius! This curse has people legging it. A couple of idiots begged me to run back and grab their stuff, but the ring, the ring is my ticket to the city. The old man was desperate. You should have heard the sob story. Ellie May was his wife. Love of his life, blah, blah. It used to camp by her grave. Kind of weird, if you ask me. Anyway, she was buried with this family ring. It's deeper into the darkness. I'll grab it and be on my way to you. Baldur's Gate better prepare itself. Because with the two of us in the city, we'll ring every last copper out of the place. Love you, Dandelion. See you soon. Okay. I don't know quite what to make of that. Uh, I'll pick it up. Just be sure we don't need a bottle. We'll take the shadow root sack here. And then uh, we can drop down. Ooh, yeah. We can drop down there. Or we can walk up there from somewhere else. Or we can drop down there. Just minus four hit points. Really? I, I'm actually going to summon a, a familiar. Because that's like the thing my class does. Or my uh, specialization does. And I've never been doing it. So we're going to do that for once. And uh, I might... I might summon Scratch as well. Well, double familiar is going on here. Now we're talking. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, so apparently that uh, doesn't work that way. I guess it makes sense, but also kind of lame. All right, we're heading down the bridge. We're going to talk to the Harpers. I reckon they'll be, uh... 
we can be friendly with them, unless they've been driven mad by the darkness, in which case, uh, well, not much to be done about it. Hi, guys. How are you guys doing? Stay together. Keep to the light. My name's Ash. Who are you? First, come closer. Hands up. Succeeded perception. Oop, hello. More of them. Why, why am I acting so creepy? Shouldn't I be saying something? Jonas, move in. What's he looking at? Oh, fuck. Jonas! Jonas! I'm here! Where are you? Jonas? Can you see our torches? I can't see anything! Some, something's wrong. Follow my voice. Come back to the light. Who's there? Meg? Is that? Notice? He's not looking too good. Soul consumed by the darkness. Not a good sign. Don't let it get hold of you. Harpers, now! Alright. Looks like we get to fight against uh, Jonas and. Oh, he's not alone, is he? Entropic Ward? Okay, Shadow used necrotic claws on Ash. Ow! Ow! That's, that's not kidding. I can't even. Wow, that was, uh, that was gnarly. Okay, so we got them there. They're 24 health each. Yeah. Where's Jonas? Jonas is King Shadow here. There he is, 47. Shadow Curse temporarily hostile. Interesting. Um, well, Asterion, would you kindly assassinate the Shadow? Don't ask me how that works. Just do it. All right, pretty good, actually. Not, not too bad. We could cunning action dash and then try and stab him a little. Or, or bite him. Yeah, we can bite that, right? An incorporeal entity. Is it incorporeal? Looks pretty incorporeal. I'd bite it. Um, yeah. End turn. We're not going to use that just yet. I have, uh, I have bad feelings about this. What I am going to do is move a little bit further back. Because I think they ranged attack, melee attacked me. I know that doesn't make any sense, but just trust me. I think that's what happened. Um, we gotta get rid of the ads first. The ads. Oh man, really? One health? Okay. Um. Survival instinct. It's an action. 3 to 12 healing. Where am I getting that from? I think that's my warlock pack. Oh, ouch. Okay. Oh, they just use like a hit and run. Okay, so they do actually do melee attacks. They just. Strength drain on Asterion. Okay, so his strength is probably reduced. Yeah. Right, it's not the worst. He doesn't use that. Uh, Shadow Heart. So casting Radiant here would be amazing. But we're role playing. Shadow Heart ain't touching anything having to do with Radiant magic right now. So we're not going to do that. We're going to have to do this the hard way. <laughs> Protection from good and evil. These are undead, right? Almost certainly. Undead. Now might be the time we can actually use protection from good and evil. Who do we cast it on? I'm going to cast it on uh, Asterion here. Okay, and how long does that last? Until long rest. Pretty good. We could do a shield of faith on somebody. 
I don't want any of these Harpers to die because I feel like, uh... Yeah, but I'm also not going to... Uh... Ooh, this would be really cool. But I think they're going to be resistant to cold and necrotic. Right? You're immune to necrotic. That makes sense. Resistant to cold also makes sense. Okay, so no sense in using that. I mean, we could do Radiant. But again, gotta roleplay it. Um, Shield of Faith, then. Or we do a Healing Word. Small Healing Word on Ash, maybe? Will it prevent her from getting killed? I don't, I don't know. I feel like she's just gonna die in one hit anyways. But hey, you know, at least we tried. Alright, what are these guys gonna do? Harper and Megan. These guys do a lot of damage. And then it just appears up there. Oh, boy. Went in behind on... Uh, okay, she got Strength Drain as well. That's not good. Because she actually needs that. Dark Currents. So they just... Okay. So it seems like the... Uh, Protection help there. Yeah, he's doing some bad stuff. Okay, good damage. Good job. Um, scratch. This is not a great time for you. So you move there. Then you can jump. Can you? Oh, hold on. You can't jump quite that far. You, you can jump really far. <laughs> Can he bite? He can. He can bite. You know what? He's gonna bite this shadow. Why not? Nice job. Two damage. I probably should have bit the other one, but I have no idea where that other one went off to, so... Oh, it's here. No, that's not the one either. Then I really don't know. These guys are gonna be a little bit difficult to fight, I think. But, uh... Ooh, we need to switch to melee weapon. Or we shoot. Use melee weapon. Set. So, this toggle light source actually unequips your weapon. So what the fuck is the point of it? Of putting a torch here, aside from it's just, this is where you carry your torch. You still have to manually do this every time. That is incredibly dumb. I'm sorry, game, but that is, that is really stupid. Kill that one, please. Nine damage. I mean, yeah, do it again. We can actually get rid of one of them. You hit. You did not. All right. Um, yeah, I think it's time to frenzy. Yeah, I'm. I'm not a fan of uh, of the torch system. It's just like, come on. You basically have the mechanics in place to have a convenient system here, and then you just no. Okay, critical hit. Good. All right, Asterion. Asterion can do damage. Uh, we got one that we can get rid of there. We can also kill this one. No, we can kill that one. Or that one. Where's the other one? There was another one that took a bunch of damage. I, I don't know. Um, this doesn't seem worth taking out. This one, though. This one... I'm gonna try and pick this one off. Must have advantage against the target. Okay, so we don't have advantage. So we just gotta use a standard attack? Well, I'll use a standard attack then. Oh, we just took Shadow Curse. Take necrotic damage every turn? That doesn't sound nice. We'll go here, and we're out of the Shadow Curse. Okay. Hunting action dash. Do it. Is this gonna allow us to move up to here? And then we can not engage because that used our bonus action. Okay, let me that a little. Alright, kill that one and hit that one. Hopefully you can kill both. Beautiful. Two dead. Get out of here. We're in a little bit of danger. Okay, she's now in the shadows. Okay, that one's appearing and doing who knows what. Ah, that was the one that was right behind us. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that one anymore. Shadowheart can advance up to here. Does somebody need some healing? I'm going to cast Warden of Vitality just in case we're going to need people to be healed. Again, I don't want any of these characters dying because I reckon we can interact with them, especially Lysandra, so I'm going to drop... Must be near a Warden of Vitality. Like, 
You're as near to a Warden of Vitality as you're going to get. Okay, so this just doesn't work on non-party members. Cool. Why? Pretty annoying, that as well. Sorry if I sound uh, annoyed, I, but I am. <laughs> it's just some things. They're a bit nonsensical. Okay, um, Scratch. Oh, we got rid of all of the shadows. Hold on, these ones are still in the initiative order. They're just down. I reckon that's something we need to worry about. I bet they can come back. We'll have Scratch bite him. Jonas here. Give him a good old nibble. God, it's hot in here. You're gonna move up because you're in the shadow first. We don't want that. Take him out. All right, down he goes. I think we have ourselves a victory here. Let's finish this fight first. What do you mean finish this fight first? He's dead. Ah, they're not friendly. They're like neutral, apparently. But what do we have to deal with? It doesn't appear like there's anything else here. Can we just mm -hmm. loot him? Is that, is that what we need to do? I, I honestly do not know. End turn. Dash to where? Where are you going? Oh. Okay. They're just invisible. That's what's going on here. All right. right there, right? I mean, I see it. Detecting presence. That's handy. Okay, Asterion. You can see the one over there, so we can shoot it. Problem is, we're going to be out of the light if we do that. Well, we got to get it somehow. I'm just going to shoot it. Hopefully we can kill it. There we go. Okay, that baned it, at the very least. Breathing. We're going to advance, get everybody into a light circle here, and uh, hopefully kill that one. There's another one down. You're going to stay right here. Circle up. They have to come to us. Drop a heal on Ash. She's damaged. She's a bit less damaged. And, uh... So Lesser Restoration will not affect Strength Drain. It's only got one turn left anyways. The temporary one, that's fine. I mean, you may as well start getting, uh... Protection going. So protection from good and evil. Evil and good in this case. So are you going to appear? Alright, there you are. Let me shoot it. Hit. Alright, Carlac. Oh no, Scratch. So, where is it at? It's up there. We're not going to be able to reach it with Scratch, so... I'm going to move Scratch up into the light right there. Carlac, you can advance to that light. Shoot it! Good job. Shoot it again. Hopefully kill it. And, uh, we can do an enraged throw. What do we want to throw at it? Plenty of things we could throw at it. I could throw a, uh, <laughs> a nut buster at it. <laughs> we could throw a, a... Throw a helmet. Why does it say haste helmet? No, I have the haste helmet on. Throw a ring? We could throw a bronze ingot. No, these are really expensive. I would rather not throw a bronze ingot at it. You know what? Uh, I clicked it, so... Okay, we can throw the Nut Buster at it. There we go. We're gonna throw the Nut Buster. Let's see if this works. Damn. The Nut Buster has failed me. Tell me we can at least retrieve it. Yeah, it's still there. Perfect. Alright. Not all is lost. Okay. They're coming back. Good stuff. Dark Currents. So there's another one right here. Tried to eat that guy. And now it's gonna disappear, so... Okay, you missed. All right, you got it. So there's just one left somewhere. Time to move. You kind of got to wait. So that one was able to phase in and out in the same turn. I reckon this could get really annoying. Can't stay idle. Unless you have some sort of detect ability. 
Um, I don't know. Yeah, use this. I mean, might as well. Cool animation. Oh. Oh, okay. I misread that. All right. So if I reach zero hit points, I heal instead of falling unconscious. Okay, good enough. Um, Got to move. Cool ability, actually. Well, no sense in uh, waiting till I reach zero hit points, so I'll drop a Warden of Vitality on myself, which basically heals nothing. Deals 2 to 12. Minimum roll. Very nicely done. Um, everyone has... Oh, the protection from... No, never mind. I'm a... I'm a, I'm a Goddamn dirty deceiver. So protection from good and evil... Only a uh, single use. You can only use it on one character, I guess. So, no, single use is scroll. It's concentration based. Okay, that makes it not that good. I think. You want? Wait, what do you mean? Protection presence. He's almost dead. Oh shit! He just died. Uh, oh boy. Oh, he's back up. Are you friendly or? No, he is not. Temporarily hostile. Shadow cursed undead. Well, why did you walk out into the darkness? That was kind of dumb. Wow. Scratch. Scratch it's kind of hard. Shoot him. Sorry, Harper. All right. Well, he's down. It's just a matter of uh, waiting. Let's get this over with. Yeah, you're going to actually appear. This is incredibly annoying. It's just not showing up. I don't even know where it is. I, I feel like it might be over there, but I don't know for sure. Well, I'm gonna go loot that corpse. It's not like they can do anything to me now. Grilled pork leg? Yeah, send it to camp. The rest of this is coming with me. You get back over here. Now this is my happy place. Now this is pod racing. Okay, we're no longer frenzied. Okay, there it is. Now I can actually kill it. This fight. One damage only. Shoot it. Good good damage. So now we can actually run up and you can even use your offhand attack to uh finish it. Okay. Well done. Now we've got to move. I know a safe place. Give me your map. Keep your torch high. If you step into the shadows, you'll be felled in a heartbeat. Safe place. You mean somewhere the shadows can't penetrate? That's right. Protected by magic. Only spot in the region that's not been swallowed up by this damn curse. Light will save you here on the outskirts, but a few paces deeper you're screwed. If you want to catch your breath, the inn's the only place to do it. Hope to see you there. All Help right. us move out. Yeah. Fortunately, you took some casualties. Shadow Vestige. You see a man stalking slowly through the woods, bow Ooh. half drawn. If he bags a deer, the whole family will be kept fed all winter. Interesting. You sense a young woman gazing at Moonrise Towers in awe. Perhaps one day she will get to gaze out from atop it, she hopes. Interesting. Seems simple enough. He had dreams of boarding a ship in Baldur's Gate and seeing the world. But then the darkness came. Interesting. Okay. We don't get to loot them. Oh, we could have lit this thing on fire and created a uh, nice little uh, bubble around us. Bubble to light the area. Oh well. Harper Jonas, what did you have? Nothing much. Unfortunately. So, I need to fiddle around with the gear that everybody has, because there's no sense in equipping a torch with you. I still don't understand why this thing doesn't count as a torch, but uh, that's the way of it, I guess. You are carrying a torch in your offhand. Do we keep you with the torch? Yeah, I'm going to keep him with the torch. Okay, Shadow Root Vestige. Or Shadow Root Sack, sorry. Shadow Vestiges all over the place. 
Maybe I need more pockets. Potion of healing. Okay, so we can get up here from this place now. Without taking any damage, so we'll just do it like that. Seems easier anyways. Nothing else here. There's a bottle rack. Maybe there will be a potion. No. A potion of healing I will take. Blub. Why not? Rusty dagger. Sure. And uh, we'll lockpick that. Can't keep me out. Lovely business. What do we got in here? Potion of mind reading and 25 gold. All right. And uh, we missed this one apparently. There was a there was a bridge here to a camp. Okay. Yep. I did not see this. Oh, because of the new area. I mean, it's not a new area, but it's it's a new area. Scratch has found something. Over there. Scratch can find the dirt mounds. Hmm. Okay. That's kind of cool. And again, these dirt mounds, like, isn't great. Okay, the dice. All right. I'm okay with that. We can actually throw these into my uh, die bag. I don't know which one is my die bag exactly, but... Uh, there's one of these. Yeah, it's this one. All right. Lovely. Throw it in there. Burgundy dye. Cool stuff. Ropes. More ropes. Lots of ropes. So, there were two ways to go. Three ways to go, even. There's one back there. There's one... Oh, Jesus. There's a lot of ways to go. Yeah, new area. This'll, this'll happen. Well, we're here now. May as well check what's going on at this campfire. A little bit suspicious. Ignoble hat. Still the same types of clothing. Unfortunate. I was kind of hoping we'd find something new by now, but they've really, uh, something been, good here. you know, I skimping on that. Okay, we have a grave here. I wonder if this is going to be the uh, grave of so and so. No, it's already been this robbed. Grave is a mess. Probably an animal's doing. Yeah. What animal? Yeah, I don't know if I want to go this way immediately. Because I don't know what path is going to be. Like, it seems like either way. I, I think I want to go back there first. Yeah, like right, right up here. Although, perhaps we've already been here. Ruined battlefield. But these things, these are the shadow root sacks. I mean, we gotta grab them. And night orchids. Oh! We know somebody who likes those. Now it makes sense why you like them. Solution of Night Orchid. Shadow Art, why do you like Night Orchids? Is it because they're associated with Char? Have you heard Char is bad? I, I've heard Char is bad on several occasions. That looks like the inn. Cool. That is literally covered in a light bubble. Alright. Since we need to go to the inn, I will head in the opposite direction. So we have a way to go that way, and we have a way to go this way. I'm gonna, I am gonna do this way first. Seems like this will probably be a quick little uh, stint. Get somewhere, then we can uh, check around. We could have gone up that way. Never mind. Um, but yeah, there's there's something going on here. That looks a little weird. Just lit up too. That's a that's a bird. And he who was. Shadar Kai? Shadar Kai are like a species of elves that got trapped on the Shadow Plane, or the Shadow Fell in this case. Uh, looks like we have some wholesome uh, religious practices happening here. Just uh, a sleeping uh, dwarf woman in a bit of cherry juice with uh, some sort of uh, pentagrammatical symbol. On the ground around her, you know, just your normal, uh, everyday, uh, friendly stuff. And, whoa, we've got some more dead harpers. By more dead harpers, I mean more loot. Well, better loot these dead harpers. Rotten tomatoes, we could throw those at a Asterion. But for now, I don't think we need them. They'll poison me. Three turns. Let's not eat them. What have we here? Scroll of False Life? That sounds like it might be handy. Candles? Don't think that's going to help us. Rotten Cheese? One gold? Not the best haul here, I must say. Harper Light Spark. You're a special one. 
You even have a special arrow. That's going to uh, Hysterion. Rotten banana? God damn it. Even the bananas are rotten. Harper Journal. What do, what do you guys have? We're running around trying to find the borders of the Blight. The ruins of the Last Light proved to be highly dangerous with deep, biting shadows, or the ruins east of Last Light. Another suspicious one is the house on the hillock a little farther on. It seems dark and empty, but voices come from there. One of the others swears to me that he heard a child's laughter and saw Gith Yankee warriors approaching the house from a distance. Surely his imagination must be getting the better of him out here. Surely. Okay. Night Orchid. And another torch. Pick that up. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to the Shatterkai. I'm sure nothing suspicious is happening here. I'm gonna save first, though, because... Not because it looks suspicious or anything, just... It's, it's good practice, you know. Always save. That's where we just were. Like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, alright, alright. Shadow Root sack over there. We'll go, we'll go that way later. But for now... Hello. You're doing some... Where lies your guilt? Speak with that, huh? Waiting mode. Uh, I've met a few people, or I've I've met a, I've met few who can also commune with the dead. And I have met few who stand so tall and fearless in the face of the unknown. Be on your way, brave soul. I like your squiddy eye tattoos. Oh, we should have spoke with animals. A fair point. Perhaps this one could assist us. The murdered lie silent. The raven asks, will you be their voice? It depends. Who murdered this woman? She is not the victim. Nay, she is the perpetrator. This woman tended a bar where she took her patrons, her friends, into her confidence, promised their secrets were safe with her. Yet she turned their words into knives and stabbed them in the back. Sounds like she's they our died because of her. And to this day, her victims lie unavenged. You're pretty cool, got to admit. She's dead. How much more can she pay? Death is not the end. Merely another beginning. That's true. I seek a record of this one's crimes. Written in her own hand. Through it, I can summon her spirit and force her to face trial for her crimes. Would you, Surf? That's some powerful magic. How do you do it? Can you show me? Such spells are ancient secrets and closely guarded. But I could be convinced to share them with an ally. Your soul sparks with justice, with fortitude. This is your chance to bring a murderer to justice, to avenge her victims. Will you take it? Sure. I thank you. As to those who died by her words. You seem trustworthy. Go to the distillery. The one she calls the Waning Moon. Find the ledger. And bring it to me. I'm just inclined to believe anybody with jet black eyes and tentacle tattoos around their eyes. Who make, you know, pentagram circles and speak with the dead. You know, it's just trustworthy, uh... Behavior. Can we loot? Yeah, I mean, th this is all up for the grabs. Up for the taking. We got ourselves a sickle. Kind of wanted to make a susser bark sickle thing, but I didn't have a sickle. But now we do. Can't loot her, though. Pity. Chasm. All right, well, we'll head up this way. We'll look for that uh, distillery. What's our uh, time on this episode? Just over uh, an hour. Um, okay. What we got here? Let's let's lockpick this. We'll uh, we'll explore the little uh, fringe areas and then uh, end the episode before heading to that uh, tavern, which we'll save for next time.
All right, looks like we got ourselves a success here. What have we in here? Something good, I hope? Not really. All right. Well, another thief's tool and some gold. And a fun arrow for uh, a starion to shoot something with. A pouch. What have we here? And another shadow root sack. And some more torches. And I'm over encumbered. We'll probably do something about that. I am carrying a lot of random crap. Uh, maybe I don't need all of these cleavers. We'll uh, distribute them to various people. Giant painting? I don't know. I probably don't need to be carrying that around. It's not good for general weight. That actually didn't affect much. Um, yeah, these don't weigh much either. Club? We go to her. Rusty a dagger. Okay. Okay. Infernal ally. That's going to you. Okay. We have a bit more, a uh, bit more room. What are we doing with all these mind player specimens? Parasite specimens? Don't, don't answer that. I'm just going to hold on to them and see what happens in game. Got more torches here. Thus far, our torches haven't run out, and there's no, like, meter or anything. So I'm assuming they'll just last for ever. Which is cool. Okay. Signpost here? What do you say? North, last light in. South, Risen Road. West, Rythwin Town. Okay. Burlap sack. A hidden burlap sack with key. Intriguing. A key to what? Perhaps one of these chests? So that's where we could have come. So we are here. There's another chest. So perhaps it's to... Oh, Christ. Shadow cursed needle blight. Uh, excuse me? Shadow cursed vine blight. So the plants are attacking us now. Okay, cool. Ow. This was uh, a bit of an ambush. Alright. Another one up there. It's uh, quite a lot of them. Find Light seems to be the big boss. I wonder if we, like, kill it. Oh, wow, I'm dead. I mean, not dead, but... Temporarily incapacitated. That one is big. Entangling plants. That's probably not good. Alright, Asterion can go. Um, we are in a bit of a pickle. Can't target plants. What do you mean I can't bite plants to drink their blood? What the hell? What about stabbing it with a... Yeah, that works, actually. Uh, well, then I'm going to do that. We're going to stab it. That dealt quite a lot of damage. We could actually finish it off with our offhand attack. Hit it with a torch. Or we can miss. Like a chump. Okay, Scratch, can you kill that one? You can't move. You're stuck. Can you jump? Can't jump while entangled. That makes sense. Can you help anybody? You can help Shadowheart out of the entanglement, I guess. That actually works. That is good to know. Okay, he's taking a bit of damage. Scratch is dead. Hopefully, that's just temporary. We are, uh, getting wrecked. Oh, shit. She's stuck, too? Oh, boy. Um, you can hit that one. Well, do it. Get rid of it. One. Oh, good. They explode. Of course they do. Why would I have expected anything different? Um, improvised throw? Or we can shoot. I, I definitely want to uh, get rid of some of these. We are not in the best of situations here. I should frenzy again. I'm gonna. Right. Give ourselves to the frenzy. I would like to get over there, but that, that ain't happening right now, so... Do we take out the big boy? I think we take out the big boy. Good damage. 15 damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. Needles? I'm not going to last much longer. No, you're really not. Uh, um, drop a revivify on her? I mean, that... I don't know if that's worth it, to be fair. We could smoke powder satchel. That could do some work. That's gotta do some damage. Or a smoke powder bomb. That's gonna do... A lot of damage, right? Or we can try and do a fire. You, you got some fire options. I could drop a heal. I need to heal myself. So this is just level one. It's the only uh, thing useful here. This will last for ten turns. Fuck it. I'm doing Warden of Vitality. That's gonna pay for itself multiple times over. I will drop this on 
myself. Because if I go down, or if Shadowheart goes down, we have no healing. Aside from chugging potions. Which I'm not afraid to do here. Man, there's a lot of them. And this ambush was brutal. Okay. Thank you for dodging both of those. That was clutch. That is not ideal. What are you doing? Okay, it's going over there now. Are you free? Can you move? You cannot move. You can shoot. So that's fine. Shoot away. I'm going to do 2 to 20 fire damage. This will actually do more damage. 65% chance of hitting. We can throw a uh, alchemist firebomb. That should do some work. It'll hit ash though. That's the problem. Although if we do it there, it won't hit ash. And it might burn away the vines. Try it. No, it didn't quite do what I, what I might have wanted. I mean, it wasn't horrible. Nothing else to target here. Nowhere else to go. We can jump out of it, actually. That's kind of cool. So let's do that. We'll jump out. We'll be here. Out of the vines. So they take a bit more damage. They are, I think, probably taking a bit more damage. Oh my god. Did you just score double critical hits? Okay, I gotta use a potion of greater healing here. Didn't want to, but... And we still can't move. We're still stuck. Boy, oh boy. Um... Brace. Spend six... I mean, I can't move anyway, so... <laughs> I'm bracing. We'll get extra range damage. See if we can't pick any of these off. I could try and just kill this one. No, I, want, I need to kill some of these. These are actually dealing a ton of damage. That's a miss. Please kill it. It's a bit of damage, but it's not enough. Yeah, you do. You sure do. Um, oh, that's Shadowheart. Um, drop a heal on uh, Asterion with a bonus action. Okay. Can we... Yeah, I'm gonna smoke powder bomb these guys. That's gonna hit all four of them and hopefully do a bit of work. <laughs> it sure did some work. It killed them. I ain't even mad. <laughs> yep, they are dead. So is Ash. That's the second time Shadowheart has accidentally killed Ash. Uh, we gotta get Shadowheart back up, because Shadowheart can use Revivify on her. Please don't kill him. Thank you. Get her up, if you would. Thank you. Okay, um... Yeah, you can, you can give him a good old little whack there, if you would. Good, he's off balance. Oh boy. Chug another potion of greater healing. This is a rough fight that I definitely may have made a little bit more rough for myself, but uh, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, <laughs> main hand. Please die. Okay, fine. Try it again. Mm, yeah, do it. For fuck's sake, still missed. Um, don't kill anybody. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, hit that on Karlak. And, oh no, we don't have Revivify. And we can't use an action? Because we got up. We do have, no, we wouldn't have Revivify anyways. Nuts. We're going to have to use one of our scrolls. If we even survive. Constrict. This thing's annoying. But at least it doesn't seem to be a damage dealer. It's mostly just hampering our movement efforts. Which is, you know, problematic, to be sure. Uh, but... Are you constricted? You are not constricted. So I'm going to just kill this in melee. Thank you. Did it still explode? My god. Yeah, it didn't nearly end you. Uh, get over there. Don't get over there. Just stay... Stay, uh... Let's put some distance in between ourselves, actually. So that one AoE can't absolutely wreck us. Okay, we should have this in the bag. Don't want to use another potion. I could throw something. It's a bonus action. Enraged throw? What could we throw at it? Oh, man, I didn't pick up the nut buster. I'm going to throw this hand axe at it. Screw My it. Little trick. Here, there you go. Have one of these. 16 and knocked it prone. Holy shit. Alright, that was pretty good. Well done, Karlak. Well done. Oh, yeah. There we go. 
Get fucked. All right. Ooh. While I'm at it, wits and blades always shine. Oh yeah, we can uh, do some heals with this. <sighs> that nearly ended me. Yeah, it sure did. <sighs> that was good. God, it hurts. <sighs> this spell's quite good. Better make camp soon. Be a while before there's a chance to rest. Oh. oh, I could go for a good meal. Yeah. This way. Oh, scroll of revivify it is. Sorry, Ash. Uh, we have blown you up with gunpowder yet again. I think this is the second time that's happened. We'll try not to make a habit out of it. Too much to bear. Yeah. Kind of bad, isn't it? Okay, Shadow Root Sack. Oh, you guys have Shadow Root Sacks. Alive. Oh, God. So that's progress. Yeah, thanks. It feels like we're being watched. Hunted, even. But there's nothing out there. Only more darkness. I much prefer it when I'm the one prowling in the shadows. About to strike. Sorry, did you want something? Or just looking for a distraction? I actually just accidentally clicked on you because you walked in front of my mouse cursor, but, uh, you know, whatever. Don't mind if I do. So we gotta give Karlak all kinds of things she can throw because Enraged Throw is awesome. So that was a rough encounter. Uh, let's quickly short rest that. Nice little Ouch. Yeah, take a quick nap here. I'm sure that nothing bad will happen. Man. But hey. Some good, uh, good stuff here. Okay, this chest had better have something good in it. Come on, open up. Do we actually need to, or do I have a key? I do not have a key. Okay. Thought this one might be the one that we got the key for, but apparently that's not the case. This ambush was brutal. Please give me something good. That is disappointing. But that's okay. Yeah, which was, uh, was fun. All right. Well, here we are. Anything here? In this ruin? Traveler's chest over there. I think we've explored this whole side. It's just the camp here with the Shatter Kai. The awesome Shatter Kai, he who was. Awesome name. I would name my child he who was. If it was, you know, if I had a child. Um, yeah, guys, that's going to be all for today. What a lovely place. This place is... Uh, you know, just fills me with joy. No, actually, I, I, I love the uh, the environment here. It's really cool. I, I love these cursed, gnarled, sinister, everything looks creepy. Constantly feeling like you're being watched. Trees look misshapen and filled with tripophobia inducing knots and bowls? Is that what you call that? B-O-L-E-S? I think so. Uh, anyways, uh, drop this video a like if you have enjoyed it, and uh, I'll catch you all in the next one where we will explore more of the Shadow Cursed Lands and hopefully make our way to presumably the Last Light Inn. Alright guys. Ash Arter out. <laughs>